made for Apple Watch policies become official for third-party accessory makers. HTC sales are back to giving everyone a red light, and Apple doesn't seem to be playing nicely in trying to compete with music streaming. I'm Jaime Rivera, and am I the only one that doesn't have something like Eater of Hamburgers in their Twitter description? This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today talk about HTC is we've got some numbers regarding the company's sales for April. And this is probably the company's worst April in six years as, uh, well, sales are down 38.6% compared to April last year. 32% down compared to March, uh, up to the point where, well, HTC barely sold 60% of the 1M9s compared to the same amount of the 1M8s that were sold in the same period last year. Things are very bad for HTC right now. We're hoping that their new models will do something about it. The problem is they're only sold in Asia. Now let's move the spotlight over to Oppo as the company has already begun teasing the Oppo R7. First of all, when it comes to design, we hear that there will be a full aluminum or full metallic chassis for this device, and it looks really good in the teasers. But even more interesting, we've got some TINA certification documents. It seems that we have two variants, one of them sporting a MediaTek processor, another one sporting the same Snapdragon 615 of the Oppo R5. In addition to that, we've got 16 gigs of storage that is now expandable, which is a plus, but it seems that the only problem is that, well, you're still getting that 1080p no bezel display, which is great, but the problem is that uh, it seems to be running Android 4.4.4 KitKat, just because of ColorOS, and we wonder what year is this. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for an LG Windows phone that's been teased for a while, but wait right there, the news actually aren't good. Uh, we've got some full leaks of this device coming to Verizon, which is the LG Landset. Uh, which could probably be the weirdest name in history, but forget about that, the specifications. This is a mid-tiered phone, it's got an FPGA display of 4.5 inches, in addition to 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of storage, uh, and uh, I don't even think I should waste any more time talking about it. I know many of you will probably be disappointed. Now let's talk about some Apple news. The company has made its Made for Apple Watch project official, just like we've got Made for iPod or Made for iPhone and iPad, where there are official accessories that should be approved by Apple, built by third-party developers, and there are some guidelines for that. And in the case of the Apple Watch, even though we're not talking about third-party chargers for the Apple Watch, there are third-party band options, and there are full guidelines of how to build the bands the only problem is that apparently third-party accessory makers will have to wait for Apple Watch lugs, which are the connectors that attach to the Apple Watch, which is not necessarily good because we wonder if that's going to help them make some competitive watch bands, given the fact that the current ones cost a hair, a tooth, an arm, and a leg. And finally, for the very interesting rumors of the day, speaking of Apple, it seems that the company doesn't feel that it can compete against Spotify and YouTube. The reason why is because some trusted sources claim that the company is working with music labels using its leverage from the previous years of iTunes uh, to convince these companies to not allow the freemium model that we currently see with Spotify and YouTube, meaning if you want to use Spotify, you'll have to pay for it. If you want to watch music videos on YouTube, you'll have to pay for them. As Apple apparently wants to offer the Beats music alternative that it has, but as long as you're willing to pay for it. It seems that Apple wants to push it that way they don't want to do the ad-based model and given the fact that Apple has a lot of popularity with music labels it could go that way but it's really unfortunate and leads me to the question of the day do you think it's fair that just because Apple doesn't feel that it can compete against Spotify they should convince other companies to follow their own trend because in my case I feel that no this is a terrible business practice up to the point where the Department of Justice in the United States is after Apple and actually interrogating music label executives over this but leave us a comment down below what do you think about this friends you know the drill if you want to get the news earlier before this video is spilled make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well you can follow me on Twitter Jaime underscore Rivera please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw I am Jaime Rivera thank you very much for watching we'll see you tomorrow